Hello, welcome to Friday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Pierre Rares, and you're doing a shooter I designed called the Vanique Shooter. Simple cocktail because this incorporates all three Vaniques. It started out with the original, then went to the Ruby, and now it has a glow. So we're getting all three of these into one shot. And this could be a layered shooter because if you ever watched my original review for the original uh, Vanique, I said, imagine this in a layered shooter. That'd be awesome. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a layered shooter, but with all three. But in order to get everything to balance out right with your fact that all three of these are the same amount of alcohol, roughly, I'm assuming maybe this might be a little more sweeter, but roughly about the same amount of sugar content, if you try to put it in the glass, it'll all blend in in one shot. It won't layer. So what we're doing is we're changing the viscosities, changing the alcohol content, so that way one will layer on top of the other, one will layer below the other, then you have your center one between, which goes by itself. So you're getting three in a layered shot, hopefully get three complete clean layers. Which should be done as long as you had the right amount of water and sweetness we're adding by the grandine, which is gonna take the ruby, help bring the sweetness up a little bit more, which more sugar content, which in a sense is gonna make it heavier, so that should sit on the bottom. But we're also gonna be mixing it with the ice, and as the ice melts, it's gonna help create more of a it's going to bring down the ABV, so it's not going to be as high alcohol content. So sweeter, makes it heavier, and also less alcohol, which means other higher alcohols will float on top of it. And since this one we're keeping normal, that should float directly on top of this. And this one, since this is by itself, there's nothing changing the alcohol content. To get this to float, we're going to be adding some vodka. So the vodka and the... Well, this already has vodka in it, so you're actually basically upping the alcohol content. So this is going to help that flow on top. But it's a simple shooter. It's a very unique, unique shooter. Yeah, it rhymes. But let's show you exactly how this one is done. First thing you want to do is make sure that it is unique. You want to make sure you got your nice shimmery effect in there. So we're going to start with half ounce of the unique ruby. Then you want to add a splash of grinding. Give it a good stir. Take that, add to your shot glass. Now for the second layer, if you can get a small enough spoon, maybe like a baby spoon or something like that, that you can get inside a shot glass like this. This is actually something you can get on AllStrings.com. It's a cordial shot glass. It's perfect for this because the visual effects is all there. But it is hard to get something in there to help it layer right. If you put a spoon up here and pour it in, your stuff is going to basically hit the bottom first and then come back up and it's going to all blend. So if you can, which I also put a link to this on allstrings.com, gravity release jigger. This is neat because you can take it, it has a small base. You can put it directly on there and it releases really slow because as it's in here, it'll basically fall down here. And then go inside the glass to help get that nice layered effect to it. So to do that, we add half ounce. Well, give it a shake first, make sure it's nice and glittery. You want to add a half ounce of that. The other good thing about that cordial shot glass, it's a two and a half ounce shot glass, so it's definitely going to have a little more volume, so you can do a lot of these different balances, add more brandy and vodka, and keep like basically similar layers on it. Right, just 
barely touch the surface and then release. You want to do it slow so that way it doesn't blend. Now if done correctly, it's going to have some blending, but as you can see, it is separated because you have the red, then you have the the orange. Now you want to take the blue because you want to try and well the original because you want to make that into the top layer. So you're going to take a half ounce of that and a half ounce of vodka. Blend them together. Then you want to do the same thing, pour it into your release jigger. Then release it. And there you have it. The Vanique Shooter. Now the neat thing is, as you can see, it's three separate layers. All three Vaniques, you can see them right in there. Although the two are very similar, they did blend a little bit, but everything else is pretty, pretty well defined. Now flavor-wise, this is going to be definitely a lot of variety of flavor. Because you get all three of the unique aspects of each of these in the one shot. See how it tastes. It's actually pretty good. Has a little bit more burn because it do have the vodka, so that definitely hits it a little bit more. But you're getting all the flavor aspects. You're getting the original, kind of like the plum, the different fruit flavors you're getting from the original flavor. You're getting a lot of that tart peach notes you're getting from the glow. And then the even sweeter flavor you're getting from the like the strawberries from the ruby. So you're getting all three of the main flavors in there. Blend in one cocktail, or one shot in this case, and it has a very unique style. You have your three layers. You can also use maybe the hourglass shot glass, which may be a little bit easier because you can actually get a spoon in there because it's kind of concave. If not, if you can get these, definitely get this with it, and you can get that nice layering effect. Because the layering effect on a shooter is actually really cool. And I guarantee if you have a party, you have Vanique you're serving, your guests will love it. So it's definitely worth trying out. The flavor is phenomenal because you're getting all of them different aspects to it. I, of all three of these, Ruby is my favorite because I just love that sweet strawberry flavor to it. This one had kind of a tart. This, I love the flavor because it tastes like a peach Jolly Rancher. But there's a slight bit tartness to it compared to the other ones. That one definitely is worth trying out. All three of them are worth getting. If you can, do it. Do the same thing I did. Get the whole Vanique shooter. And guarantee you'll love it. So be sure to like us on Facebook, comment, subscribe to your cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. 
I'll put a link below where you can get all these and also put the comment the link here where you can actually check out all my reviews for all three of these. And definitely check it out. As always, drink responsibly.